We are just learning about a historic set of spying charges. For the first time, the United States is accusing hackers working for a foreign government of cyber espionage. Those suspects will be charged with stealing U.S. corporate and government secrets. Bob Orr is in Washington talking with his sources. Bob, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Well, the U.S. government is about to up the stakes in a serious way in the ongoing cyber war with foreign electronic enemies. Sources tell us that later this morning, Attorney General Eric Holder will announce the first ever economic espionage charges against hackers working for a foreign government. Now, the Justice Department so far is not publicly identifying the country involved, but we're told to expect the new federal indictment will name China. Sources say specific individuals working for the foreign power will be named when the court paper papers are released later today. And we're also told that pictures of the suspects will be published. Now, the indictment is expected to detail a sophisticated cyber spying campaign aimed at stealing billions of dollars worth of U.S. corporate and government secrets. Intelligence officials in the past have estimated that American companies are losing something like $250 billion a year in intellectual property, much of that directly to the Chinese. Now, the Chinese hackers have infiltrated servers of U.S. government agencies like the Federal Reserve. Also, we know they've hacked into the computer systems of major American media companies, including the New York Times and Washington Post to monitor, among other things, U.S. coverage of Chinese politics. Now, here's the tricky part. It's not clear at all if U.S. prosecutors can successfully uh, prosecute a case against foreign suspects in a foreign land. Because, obviously, since the accused are allegedly working directly for the government itself, China would not cooperate. In fact, most cyber experts believe that these charges announced later today will bring some kind of retaliation. Nora? All right, Bob, thank you.